Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to use your fiber laser to do 3D engravings. First you just want to import your STL file using the green stacked layers icon. And then once you select your STL file that you want, depending on the size, the software will take either a long time or a short time to read the information, so just give it some time to buffer if it does take a long time. Once your STL file is done buffering, you want to go into your top right hand corner. There is a menu that says show 3D. Click that and it will give you a 3D preview of your STL file and then go down to this drop down menu. Select deep carving object and then it should give you your preview and just kind of drag around to see if you need to fix the, the 3D STL. Go into scale mold. Once you're in skill mode, select your z-plane and change it to whatever your material size you're using and then change the dimensions, the x and y, if you want to make it smaller or bigger, it's really up to you. And then go into your move mode and go below the z-plane and play around with the negative z's. Once you do that, you should see your STL file and it should look correctly on how you want it and then go into a new layer for an outline because I'm going to make this a convex engrave so it's gonna pop out instead of going into the metal and then just export it as a DXF and then go back into your 3D STL and then once you do this you go into your to your deep to your deep carving and then go into the three dot icon and then import your your circle and make sure everything is centered so you have your file centered and then you have also the outline centered for your power make sure you go with the 100 speed a medium range of speed and then for frequency you go with the low frequency this works best for 3d engravings Once you put in the settings that you want, go over to your mark plan and then number of N will show you how much layers it's going to remove on the laser. So what you can do is go over to your splice bar and then once you go to the splice bar, you can drag this and it will show each layer that's going to mark. So you can go to the end of it where it's not going to mark anything and you take that number and then you just implement that into your end and then apply it this will be different for every stl file but i found that 900 was the end mark so it really kind of shorts up the process and speeds up once you pick the settings that you want you're really ready to mark so the difference between a convex and a concave engraving is you see how here the engraving is really popping out if you chose concave, it would be the opposite. It would look inverted, so it would look more into the metal. And when you select the convex, you want to make sure your circle is the same size or your outline of whatever you're doing. I chose this circle because it's pretty easy to, to make the outline, but if you have a more complex shape, it's gonna have a little bit more steps involved into making the outline for the convex. So really is up to you on what you want to do and how you want your end product to look like so this did take about 36 hours to do the diameter was 52 millimeters by 52 millimeters and i recommend having a film extractor with that when everything is done i went ahead and polished it and removed all the dust from it so this is how it looks like yeah hope this helped um comment if you have any questions